word to describe this place as hell. So much death and gore lay waste in this depressing place. Even though most of the archaeological team and marine squad were dead, at least I found a few of them alive. Thankfully, I had cleared a path for them to safely return to Dr. Timlin. Before they could all head back, one of the archaeological team members, Dr. Donna Lemming, needed to talk to me. She had some useful information to what may be going on around here. Thanks for saving us, Marine. Wouldn't want that lizard freak touching me. Did Dr. Timlin tell you about the strange artifact we uncovered? Good. I was able to make out what the inscriptions say on it. Hopefully I translated them correctly. The incantations on the small statue talk about a dark entity. This dark force was known as the Shadow Serpent. The ancients described this creature as a devil-like figure, one who drained the souls of its victims and used them as a source of power and energy. The incantations also indicate something about where these lizard beings came from. It says that the Shadow Serpent ravaged the land with his reptilian minions to seek out the blood of virgins. Looking back at the source of the mayhem, the statue was sitting on a hollow pillar. I believe this evil being was trapped in this pillar and the statue was there to seal it in. Since we removed the statue, it kind of acted like a cork on a champagne bottle. The final inscriptions on the statue indicate a weapon that was used to fight the evil. This weapon was called the Serpent Wand. If you can locate the weapon somewhere within the runes, there may be a chance in sending the Shadow Serpent back to where it came from. We'll head on back to Dr. Timlin. We should be okay from here. You're our last hope, Marine. Good luck. 